This is what happened last time. The first match was a di dickhead. Yeah, I can't even speak. Fuck you, all Dick Ward. One point in their career, been at the very top. Oh, without a doubt. And and the longest man at the top. Stone Cold out there. Ric Flair, world heavyweight champion for years. How dare you dog him? World heavyweight champion ah, motherfucker. He's been at the top of his game. Yeah! Thing, Cole. Every one of these guys is a true superstar in every sense of the word. All six of these talking guys nuts, used to be in the spotlight. Used yeah. to be in the middle of it all. Yeah. King, I've got to ask you. Even though Kevin How long Ash is your slog? Competing with his teammates tonight, we are Triple H tell Kevin Ash a couple of weeks ago Ooh. that HBK eventually returned. Oh, that would have been last week then, because Cole says things that happens, that happens a couple of weeks ago is actually a fucking week ago. Like fucking Ash asshole. Shit sure pisses me off. Now, but friends, in their book, Eight days is not two weeks. Nine days is not two weeks. Fucking goof. Yeah! Fucking asshole. Hate that fucking goof call. Such a threat. Come on, work on that leg. Break his heavy! Don't you wanna lick a mash Yeah! Boom! Break his head, Hammy. He's got a Hammy in his head. Break it. He hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, that's true, but Kevin Nash that head, Hammy. looks to be in prime condition, yeah. King. Certainly yeah. one thing we know hasn't changed is yeah. that Daddy Cool still has that strength. Still has that strength. Proper strategy for any kind of tag team match. Let's face it. Backbreaker. Ooh. You want to the individual opponent. You want to wear him down. Make the constant tag. Get a man in and target anybody in. No, he's gonna tag somebody in! Tag out there! No! Exactly no! Season performers. Moisten my cheeks with your mouth, you fucking bitch. Yeah, fuck you, dick. Yeah, tug in your big fat it. Aye! And he's forced back in the ring. Scapa, Scapa! Let's go back. Ah, fuck you. Reverse. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Too late, my ass. Triple H doing a great job turning that around. Ah, oh, fuck you, Booker T. We're on a racking spree now. Oh. Bust that goatee open. Having only come back a few weeks ago, would ring rust be an issue oh. for him? Well, I don't know about that. Cool. Maybe just the case because Big Daddy Cool is not very Big cool Daddy right Cool now. is Kevin looking like a furry. Over 300 pounds, so big, so strong. Has no, what are you doing? This game fucking sucks! Uh -oh, ah! Jeez. Oh, Pedigree! Pedigree! Here we go. Oh! Just pulled my hammy and everything. Pet him! Pet him! Give me the fucking power pin. Ah, uh, have you got to be fucking kidding me right now? They're really going to pull that shit? Now it's going to be impossible to win! I thought we'd just have to get into it and do this, this thing. Now go to a cutscene. This is going to be impossible. Okay, maybe not. Hey! Suck my dick, game! Yeah, Nick didn't even get in! What the hell is this? Are they the, the, the new evolution? Try to bring it up. Oh my god. Oh!
coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve oh. Austin had other plans. Oh, see the GM. tonight, as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. What? Woo! I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, oh. Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and beat a guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to the Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just stuck a punch on Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair. Shawn Michaels at Bad Blood, the dream match, perhaps of all time. Oh, are we gonna play this? I'm guessing Shizzle wins, but I don't know. It's a good thing I don't know who wins, which is good. Woo! Woo! Oh, we're back to the title menu. Oh well, I've got two engrossed in that video package. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, Two, three, four. the Nature Boy, Rick Flair! People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss-up. It's either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s as no <laughs> one's ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who wanted to be like Ric Flair. Yes, you bow down to the niche. The Michael Cole. Saying they're the best champions, really. So what was that, that shit bullshit when you said Cena was the greatest champion of all time? You fucking ass white. Oh, and JBL, the heel announcer who loves Cena. The heel announcer who reigns on bloody the ascension and well I mean I don't, I don't blame him because Vince is using them so fucking horrifyingly um, that it goes wild about the ascension I mean, you know, just and from San Antonio like Texas the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels from just down the road Shawn Michaels made his way here to Houston well, like you said it before Cole nobody dominated the 80s like Nate Ricky Flair and nobody dominated in the 90s like Shawn Michaels. But you know what? This is 2003. Who's going to dominate tonight? Why did I just get a fucking blue screen? This is my new cable. New cable just got out of the pocket today. Lillian's feeling you, Shawn. She's like, oh yeah, the shizzle man. blue screen fucking new cable is doing that shit it wasn't in a pocket though you know it was just in a in like a, a envelope type of thing like they didn't actually, I thought it was going to be in a pocket which I'm sure it was last time just in a fucking thing fucking assholes 
some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year Rick. candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or oh. Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I oh, love shit. it. The Texas crowd does too, King. Uh. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Ooh. Flair has his cult following too, as always. Because he's the nature boy. Woo! Oh yes, Rick the infamous knee the pads that aren't on the knees. Woo! Logic. He likes to get you on the ground and work the legs. And when he decides to focus on the legs, Flair can dissect those legs like a surgeon. Oh, you said it, Cole. When Flair decides to work on your legs, you're uh. pretty much history. You're pretty much toast. You know, we can talk all day about Flair's Ooh. finger foot leg lock, but he really can work the legs in a whole variety of ways if he wants to. And Shawn Michaels has Ooh. seen Nature Boy's moves thousands of times, has watched all of Flair's matches. So he knows what to look out for. Well, I thought it was only twice we did this shit. making a move from behind. Oh, God, um... going for it. Ah! Reversal. Reversé vous, Francais. Ah, reversé vous, Francais. Oh, we're over. Gotta say, Flair's looking rather non moobish tonight. By Shawn Michaels. You pin me after that, boy? Huh? I think you're playing on the night. Woo! Oh, what is this? Oh, shoulder breaker by the Nate! You like that one, boy? Oh, suplay! Shoot through the superstar's body off that slam. That slam. Oh! Boy, oh! The ref didn't see that one. The ref, he didn't even see. He's like, oh, what the fuck was that? He's like rubbing his chinny chin chin and everything. Whoop! Gut wrench suplex. Oh, can you talk about cheese again? The fruit. Play. Well, in the events leading Ooh. up to this match, Shawn Michaels brought tears to Nature Boy's eyes by telling him how he idolized Ric Flair. Nearly worshipped Ooh. Ric Flair, but King Shawn eventually got stabbed Ooh. in the back by Ric Flair. Wait a minute, that's for Michaels. What is Flair's stiffs? Figure for Knee breaker and a running, jumping knee drop. That's just Triple H's bloody thing. Do the knee break. Being stabbed in the back. That was just typical nature boy. I would say. Michaels really idolized Flair like he said he did. He should have expected oh, yeah, okay. it from the dirtiest. Oh! Here we go. Shawn Michaels might be as athletic as super. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to shock his foot there. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability ah! to pass it for the match. Like a fast Irish whip. Well, that's it. Woo! The one thing Ric Flair wants to do here tonight is negate oh, the speed and quickness advantage that Shawn Michaels My has over him. And it looks like he made a to pay back from earlier. Shawn Michaels is quicker and faster than the nature. Oh no! Boy. He'll never have the oh. move that nature has. Maybe he doesn't need that Arsenal King as agile and athletic as Shawn Michaels is. Ow. The opportunistic veteran in the ring today, Nature Boy Ric Flair, who's over Jawbreaker. 16 time world champion, survived a horrific plane crash years ago when he suffered a broken back. And, and Sean oh, Michaels. Shit, I didn't get it. Short. Oh, I did get it. Oh, what's didn't come back at me. Wait, a reversal by Sean Michaels. Oh, no. Oh. oh. That corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. All flare in the corner now. Fucking Sean forgot about that. Shot my headset. Wait a minute. Oh, the ref was shocking him. And I think, I think Rick Flair got the gun bung right there. And the referee. What are you gonna do now, Nature Boy? Woo! Weapon. Find the figure for a leg lock. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Woo! Ah, oh, he even does the woo. Awesome. Ugh, work that leg. I just don't think that Shawn Michaels can handle the Nature Boy. Uh, but you know what? 
There's no shame at all in losing to Ric Flair. No shame at all. What? What the fuck was that? The ref just kept up. Ghost style. Wait. I'm not fucking Ric Flair. I don't think. Am I? Am I Ric Flair? I am Ric Flair. Why is it being weird? Get your ass down. Here we go. Yeah, pull his ass in a bit. Woo! Here we go. Nighty night, Michael! Oh! That push must have been oh so hurtful. Three, two, you, six. Oh, oh, oh! What the? Randy Orton. Ah! You're just getting jiggy with him. Are you kidding? The referee, his buddy Flair, and there's the three count. One chair shot, dead. No, I can't. That street fight. Flair is out. Look at him, man. Your boy Ric Flair is—he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. One chair shot in a match like this, dead. Chair shots, tables, ladders, and every other kind of match could take about seven to four shots. Hashtag logic. Hashtag Sean. My dick may be sore, but I still love you tonight. Orin looks a bit goofballish.